Good morning. How are you this morning? It's been good to be with you all week. We've been talking about resting in the Father. We've been talking about, to the whole idea of God being with us. Today we're going to look at Psalm 42. Psalm 42 asks several curious questions, and they all have to do with us, our inner being, where we are, who we are, what God is doing around us. It's also a psalm that talks about our thirst and our hunger for God. Yet in the middle of this song, this psalm, there are several things that encourage us, that help us to understand that even though we're in this spot, we don't have to stay there. And so there's several ways to look at this psalm. One is it's, it's a song of victory. Oh yes, this is where I was. But it also can be looked at as a song of distress. I need to remember. I need to recall. I need to find the Father. Here's a couple verses. Psalm 42. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul pants for you, God. My soul thirsts for God, the living God. When shall I come and appear for, before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all day long, Where's your God? Where is he? Where is he? I remember these things and pour out my soul within me. For I used to go along with the multitude and walk with them to the house of God with a voice of joy and thanksgiving, a multitude celebrating a festival. Why are you in despair, O oh my soul? Why are you so restless within me? Oh, I think I got a couple answers for that. Why do our souls thirst for God? Why do we, like the deer, pant for the water brooks? Why do we feel like God has abandoned us? Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. The first one, let's talk about water. Well, water, we need to refresh us and revive us, restore us. These days, you can go to the grocery store and you get all kind of water. Plain old H2O. H2O. <laughs> You can get vitamin water. You can get infused water with flavors. You can get all kinds of stuff. You can get sparkling water, flat water. You can get purified water, distilled water. But what's the issue there? The issue is, with water, what water are you drinking? Now, that has nothing to do with what we have in the grocery store. It has to do with where do we go to refresh and restore our souls. Three times in the Old Testament, twice in Jeremiah actually, God says, you have built for yourself cisterns, broken cisterns, that hold no water. Because remember, in a dry and arid place, you've got to build cisterns that will hold water. You have to collect the water so that you have water. In the New Testament, Jesus is sitting with a woman and says, give me something to drink. And they get into a nice conversation. And Jesus says, no, if you knew who was talking to you, he would give you living water. She's confused. We get confused too. Because we often go to drink things, spiritually, that are not the water we need. We run hard. We're busy. We've got stuff to do, people to see, people are ringing our phones, sending us texts and emails, tweets, all that kind of stuff. We gotta check our Instagram page, our Facebook page, we gotta check our YouTube, we gotta do all these things. We're busy. What's the water you're drinking? That's the water of busyness. Because the enemy has tricked us into believing that the busier we are, the more spiritual we are. And the more spiritual we are, we can drink whatever water comes along. No. Like the deer that pants for the water. The deer wants that cool, crisp water that will fill and slake their thirst. And that's what we need in our own lives. That water that will slake our thirst, that will push down the busyness and help us be still before the Father. Water. What water are we drinking? The next one is diet. I know it doesn't say diet there, but the idea is our soul thirst 
Because sometimes, what are we again back to what we're drinking? Sometimes we'll go get fast food. We'll drink a coke and think we're think we're we've had something to drink. No, what we've done is we have dehydrated ourselves. And so, in spiritual dehydration, we start wasting away. So then we go and start snacking on unhealthy foods. And so physically, we start wasting away. And the idea there again is we're thirsting for something. And so we're eating the wrong thing. So what should our diet be? Our diet should then be the Word of God. Lord, fill me and help me to dine on your Word. That Father, as I'm dining on your Word, you refresh me with your living water. That I'm not looking for quick fixes. The Lord, in my weariness of heart, my weariness of soul, I come to you because, Lord, indeed, I thirst for you. So again, the idea is identify your thirst. Eat with your hunger drive. What's my hunger drive? For the word of God, because my soul is hungry. My soul is thirsty. Then what does the psalmist says? He says this, Wait for the Lord, and I will again praise him for the help of his presence. Why? Because when I allow the Father to refresh me and restore me and revive me, when I dine on his word, when I drink deeply of the water that he brings me, my restlessness leaves. Three times in the psalm, he says, why are you in despair, my soul? You're in despair because of the water you're drinking. You're in despair because of the diet that you have. But I wait for the Lord. When I'm still before him, when I allow the Father to speak into my busyness, when I allow the Father to get my attention, now I understand his help. I understand his refreshment for me. Down, way down in verse 6, he says, The Lord will send his goodness in the daytime, and his song will be with me in the night. A prayer to the God of my life. Why? Because when we're in despair, when we're thirsting, when we're hungering, Lord, help me to be still before you. Refresh me with your living water. Slake the thirst of my soul. Slake the thirst of my mind. Feed the hunger in my soul. Feed the hunger in my mind. Feed the hunger in my heart. That I may sing to you. That, Lord, I may respond to you. Because, Lord, I'm weary. I'm tired as a deer. Worn out. Weary. I can't protect myself. Because of what's going on around me. So Jesus means when he says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, they will be filled. Why? Because our primary objective, Lord, fill me with your righteousness. Because, Lord, I hunger, I thirst there. See it? As a deer thirst for water, thirst we must drink. Hunger, Lord, I must feed on your word. Then he wraps this up. Wait for the Lord, and I will again please him for the help of of his presence, that's my God. Why? Because at the beginning, remember? I'm tired, I'm weary. As a deer pants for the water, so my soul <sighs> pants for God. I need to be refreshed, revived, restored, renewed. Lord, speak to me out of the depth of your love for me. Lord, help me to hear you above all the noise in my life. That, Father, I may rest in you. Because, Father, I feel like my soul is in despair. So, Lord, help me to drink deeply of you today. Lord, help me to feed with you today. Lord, feed again my soul. Lord, forgive me for those times, Lord, when I have been snack packing. And just filling up on spiritual carbohydrates as opposed to the meat and the substance of your word. Lord, forgive me for those times when, Lord, I've been thinking, I've been drinking deeply of you, when, Lord, all I'm really doing is dehydrating myself because I'm not being still before you. Lord, I remember, I wait upon you because you, in your presence, slake my thirst. You feed the hunger of my soul. Father, thank you. Lord, for such visible realities that we have, that, Lord, you speak deeply into us through your word. Lord, forgive us for those times, Lord, when we, yes, when we have just been snacking, 
when we've been drinking of the wrong water, Lord, help us to drink deeply from your fountain. Help us to dine with you. That, Father, you continue to slake the thirst of our soul, the hunger of our hearts and minds and souls. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, dear friends.